Hey everybody, Dave here for Peace Cameron. In this week's video, we are gonna talk about an easy way to test sharpness for your lenses. All right, and today I am joined by one of my fellow co-workers, Brian Ryerson, who is our photo instructor here at the store. He's the one who teaches all our photo one-on-one -on -one classes and does one-on-one -on -one photo instruction as well. And in today's video, we wanted to talk about an easy way to test sharpness on your lenses. So all you need is a brick wall or a nice flat sur surface with texture. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Brian here and let him explain how this test is performed. So what we're gonna be doing is testing uh, the lens at every single focal length, seeing how sharp it is against the brick wall. Uh, for the test, we're gonna be using a Canon 5D Mark III and on it we've got a Tamron 28 to 300 f3.5 to 6.3. Uh, we're going to test it at each focal length that it has across the board. We're going to test it with the f-stop, the aperture wide open so that we can see exactly um, how sharp it is, kind of pushing it to its limits with the, the lens as wide open as possible. Uh, gonna stick it on a tripod so I take out any camera shake. Uh, I'm gonna turn vibration control off because when mounted on the tripod, vibration control can make our pictures ever so slightly soft. Um, that's about it. So without further ado, I'm gonna mount it to the tripod and do a series of tests at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven focal lengths. I mount it on the tripod. Before each shot, I'm gonna stick my hand in front, kind of throw the the lens out of focus so that then when I tap the button it's going to focus on the brick wall. It gives me that focus confirmation beep and I can take a shot and then adjust my focal length, throw it out of focus by sticking my hand up there, beep and take a shot. I'm going to do this at every single focal length just going through the whole range. Every single time I'm throwing it out of focus so I make sure that it focuses with each one. I don't want to just continually change the zoom rate or zoom length without focusing the camera because if I do that it may actually change the focus as I zoom. Just like that. There we go. Throwing it out of focus and so now that we've shot at every focal length we're going to take the card go inside take a look at it on the computer zooming in at a hundred percent to check for critical sharpness at every focal length let's go inside all right so we're back inside we have got the computer up we've got the pictures on the computer i've opened them up in preview um, on the mac you could use photoshop you could use lightroom any program where you can zoom in to a hundred percent and we're going to look at each zoom level and we're going to go to 100% on preview that's an easy command zero that's the first one 28 there's the second one which is 35 and then we continue through the zoom ranges all the way to 300 as I'm zooming in I'm checking for the sharpness and it looks like this one was pretty good at longer ranges there we go. Let's see how sharp that is. And that is right at 200 and then 300. So what we found out, and we find this with pretty much any lens, it's got a sharpest point. 200 and 300 both look really nice and sharp. Uh, just below that, it's reasonably sharp at 100, but not quite as good as it was at 3 and 2. And then that trend continues as we go 70, 50 millimeters. 35 millimeters and 28 millimeters. So what we found is with this lens wide open our best sharpest pictures are coming at the long end at 300 and 200 and everything beyond that is a little bit of a compromise. If we were to take the shots at 28, 35 and 50 and stop them down a little bit from that f3.5 down to say 5, 6 or 8 we could sharpen things up a little bit and some of this would, uh, would clean right up. While we're in at 100%, we can move from the center out towards the edges and look for sharpness in the edges. See how sharp it is. It is a little sharper in the center of this particular lens than it is in the corners. If we zoom back out, we can look for any distortion, whether the brick lines are nice and straight or if they bow a little bit this way 
or if they bow a little bit that way, that would be distortion. Uh, looks pretty good at the 300 end. Looks pretty good at 200. Down here at 100, we can start to see a little bit, but not a lot. Is that 100? Yep. Down here, we see a little more of that distortion, a little bit of bowing right along in there. As we're going wider, it's getting a little bit worse. We see it just a little bit there. And then on the widest end, that's probably where we would see the most kind of bowing. Um, if we zoom in again to 100% and go to the corners, we need to check the corners for softness. We definitely have some softness in the corners at the wide end on this lens. It's definitely better in the center. So there you go, that's how you can tell where the sharpest point of your lens is using a brick wall and a tripod.